fellow beer friends, wherever you are this moment, I want you to look into this matter, matter carefully and properly and make your um, make, make your, your comment constructively the way you think that it should be. So, a matter cropped up crop up this uh, evening few hours ago um, the message we are getting from uh, South South people or call it Niger Delta people and the other people from different parts of the country, Nigeria. They've, they've discussed and concluded and they've sent a letter to Tinibu that Mazenam Dekano should not remain in the DSS custody beyond 14 days to come. So, my listeners, I believe in truth. I believe in power. I believe in sincerity. Because only truth prevails. If now, South to South, or call it Niger Delta people, and uh, other people from different parts of Nigeria, have decided that Mazen Namdekano must be released in 14 days' time. So what did you think about it? Because why I'm saying what I'm saying or why I'm asking what I'm asking is that keeping Mazen Amdekano in the DSS custody, I think Nigeria is making him more great. <laughs> if you count to heroes, Madanam de Kano is a hero. He's a legend. He's a mighty man, a great man. In the whole world, I want to tell you that Madanam de Kano has fulfilled in life. All right? We are gradually getting there. Don't be in a hurry. Because something is fishing somewhere. Fire is burning some people who feel like they are unbeatable and untouchable in Nigeria. All right? So, there will be no rest for the enemies. And according to the letter addressed today, Tinibu to make sure with ultimatum that he released Mazenam de Kano. They made it clear to him that after 14 days and he refused to do what they asked him to do, then another thing will take shape in Nigeria. So I'm not here to read the letter for you or to tell you much things contained in the letter. But I'm telling you what is happening. You can make your inquiries, investigate, find out. If I may ask, what is the reason for keeping Mazen Amdekano in the DSS custody? 
if only Nigeria government have sense, they will understand that they are the causes of the insecurity and problems all over the country, Nigeria, and majorly in Biafra land, because they send the militaries and police to kill Biafrans at will, because they look at it that Biafrans have nobody and nobody will speak on their behalf. So, my brothers, I want to tell you that the cost of keeping Mazen Namdekano in the DSS custody is more exorbitant than the cost to release him. Because according to the letter addressed to Tinibu today, few hours ago, described Mazenam Dekano as a peaceful activist who is fighting for his right and the right of his people and to protect the resources of his people. That there is nothing bad they see that Mazenam Dekano committed. He did not commit any offense. Self-determination is not a crime. And self-defense is not a crime. So all the charges that Nigerian government have been putting on his head that he is this and he is that and he committed this and that. All is lie. All what I'm telling you is contained in the letter. Dressed to Tinibu with ultimatum to release um, His Excellency Maze Namdekano before or uh, on 14 days today. So, now, you are keeping an innocent person in the DSS custody without any fault. And you want the whole world to be clapping for you. Did you people want to say that Tinibu doesn't know that he's supposed to release Mazenam de Canosins? But because what is going on in Nigeria is born to rule and born to serve, some people, some particular language and tribe, in Nigeria believed that they are born to rule and other persons in their contraction called Nigeria is born to serve, especially that their friends are born to serve Nigerians. But I'm telling you that the power is changing hand. And there is nothing anybody can do to stop what God has destined. For your information, Biafra is a destiny. Biafra is a destiny. So without Biafrans, there will be no Biafra land. And God formed the land before he created the Biafrans. All right, and now you like you look at it. it. Biafra did not come by mistake. God did not make mistake to create Biafrans and give them the land, put that name in the mouth of everyone from 
Eastern region and the whole world today. The more they keep Mazen Amdekano in the DSS custody, the more the whole world is acknowledging him as a hero, praising him and supporting him. As a normal hand, Germany, as a boy, Kekwaniho Germany, or Mohonia Kurun. So, what I'm saying now is that looking into the case of Mazen Nandekano, you will discover that the only thing that made them keeping him there is because of wickedness. It's not that he committed any offense. Because Nigerians who carried the cocaine have been pardoned. Nigerians who organized terrorism, funding terrorism, hmm, have been pardoned by Tinibu. Nigerian terrorists who are killing people, Tinibu pardoned them and call them repentant criminals. Put it that way. Now, terrorists have repented. And in many states in Nigeria, the citizens cannot go to farm because of the fear of terrorists. Ransom giving, kidnapping, Tinibu pardoned them. I don't think anybody needed to beg Tinibu to release Mazen Amdekano because Mazen Amdekano is right.